Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdell, and I'm back with another video. Today, we will be talking about IP Vanish. Absolutely. What it does, how you set it up. Um, this is one of the most asked questions I get on live shows in the emails and uh, people texting me like, hey, what, what, what um, VPN service I get? For some of y'all who don't know what VPN means, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. You hear it? Private. Meaning don't no one or should no one know what you're doing. All right. You remain anonymous. Uh, your IP address is encrypted. That way your ISP, the Internet Service Provider, that's uh, Wild, Comcast, AT&T, Spectrum, um, Cox, Time Warner, all of them. All right. They don't know where you at. They don't know what you're doing. That's if you set it up correctly. With that being said, we're going to go over and I'm going to do a speed test. And then I'm going to do a speed test once I'm connected to um, um, IP Vanish VPN service. And you're going to see the difference between um, the speed issues. Now, I'm telling you now, uh, regularly I get probably around 100 megabytes per second. But now when I turn on uh, uh, my VPN, it be anywhere between 40 and 60 depending on where I'm at which server I'm connected to let's go on over here to the website alright here's the website right here ipvanish.com alright so you can come down here you can read a little bit of liter literature you can sign up for a month try it out for a month if you don't like it hey, it is what it is it's only ten dollars right or you can sign up for a year this is what I have right here and it just in case you don't have this money, just sign up for the three month. All right. So let's look at the plans. Um, they're user friendly, so they work on plenty of devices. They said the world fastest VPN, uh, unlimited bandwidth, as you see, uh, 256 bit encryption. Remember when I said the IP address? Whenever you know you turn it on, it's encrypted. That means your internet provider does not know where you at or what you're doing if you do it um correctly um zero traffic log logs meaning they don't keep no paperwork or nothing supposedly right anonymous torrenting all right that means for some people who like to torrent don't even have to worry about it do your thing and be done with it all right a limited p2p all right access to sensor apps and websites so you get what i'm saying <laughs> Unlimited service switching, meaning you can go from Chicago to Turkey to Spain, back to uh, Florida if they have one. You can, you can, it's up to you. All right. It lets you know that you can use five devices at the same time on your network. They got 24 7 customer support. So if you contact them, someone should be giving you a call back. And also, if you sign up for it and you don't like it, you get your money back if you do it within seven days. All right. With that being said, let's go on over here back to uh, um, IP Vanish. All right. No matter of fact, let's do a speed test. All right. Let's do a speed test. All right. So let me set this up right quick. All right. I'm about to show you my speed test right quick. I'm going to just click on it. Let's get it started. 22 on the ping. And like I said earlier, I usually pay probably about, I, I pay for 100 megabytes per second, all right? And usually I get 10 on the upload, 10, 11, somewhere around there. So as you see on my download, I got 102. On my upload, it's going to be between 10 and 11. Once this stop, we're going to go into IP uh, Vanish. It's very, very easy, y'all. If y'all set y'all's up like mine, you should be good. All right? So now that you've seen my numbers, let's go into the, the software right here. And first, you will be greeted by Quick Connect. All right? So if you're on Quick Connect, you don't care. Usually, it'll, be, it'll come up like this when you first connect. It'll be something like this. All right? Uh, Albania. Never heard of it. Don't know what it is. Um, so... What I would say, if you just want to just jump on here and do a quick connect, if you're in the States or wherever you at, um, go to your country. 
all right if your country is not good go to the country right next to yours so like say if the states is not good i will probably go to canada and use one of their services always select the best city or you can go up in here and do whatever you want but always uh you could do best city and do uh best server all right so we're going to do this and then i'm gonna shut it down all right I want to see where they take me because the best city sometimes is not the best city. I mean, they, they'll send me way over to California and the goal is to get closer to where you at. All right. So they sent me to Chicago, right? So check this out. I'm going to go up here and do a speed test. I meant to refresh this too. Probably should refresh it and then hit go and just give it some time. Sometimes when they when they clicking on them servers, um, you know it's a little tough. So you see that sixty six on the ping. The download maybe between twenty and thirty somewhere around there I just wanted to show you what you get when you do quick connect you just don't you just you just want to get on and hit quick connect and then I'm gonna show you how I set mines up so as you see they probably gonna get like right around two on the upload All right, 2.4. So you see how much it took a hit from 100 all the way down to 30, um, almost like 33. So uh, let's go back in here. I'm going to turn this off. And that, that's the option. You can do that if you want. I don't set mine up like that because I'm a hands-on guy. Um, so I just, you know, I'll put this back at uh, best city, best server. All right. But let me show you what I do. If you follow these steps, you'll be good. If you go to server list. Of course, um, go up here. Of course, you know you got you can set it up where uh, you know you can you can have a filter. You got a list right here. You got maps where all the servers are at. If you go across seas, you see that. So it's really up to you. It's up to you. All right. Um, and then, like I said, you can do filters. So you got a list. Uh, and I'm going to come back to this list in a little bit, all right? Um, account, if you go to your account, it tells you what it is, uh, telling you you active, or if you deactivate it, if you forgot to pay, you got paid, and then it tells you your renewal date right here. But here's the very, very, very important one. When you go into settings, go to general tab. Now, you can click this if you want, star IP vanish when you first start up your computer. That's personal preference. So me, I'm not going to do it because uh, I don't need IP Vanish to start up every time I start my Windows. Um, make sure you select Connect to Fast Server. Connect to Fastest Server. All right. Make sure you you select that one because of course you want the fastest server. And then in closing, um, if you close it, you can just quit the application all by itself. Or you could do like me, had the tray. That way when I'm done with it, I it to sit down, you know, open in the um, icon tray. And then you can pretty much leave everything else the same. So just do connect to faster server and hide to tray. Then you want to go to the connection tab. All right. This is very, very, very important. All right. In my words, you always want to click auto, re auto connect, auto reconnect. Because if something happens, say, uh, you know internet shut down or something like that you want it to hurry up and reconnect all right just in case you're wherever you at you could be downloading or whatever you could be on a website um it's whatever right always put on kill switch and i'm gonna tell you why because if anything go wrong say you lose um ipn service instead of it coming up under your real ip address it'll just kill the internet period that way, again, your ISP provider won't get notified. They can't track and see what you're doing because everything has ceased. Everything has come to an end. All right. So if it do auto connect, 
kill switch is still be on. All right. And when kill switch is on, that means the only thing you can use is IP vanish. Because if I go over here, right, I'm going to try to go with kill switch on. I'm going to try to go to ESPN. Watch what happens. Look at that. Kill switch shuts down everything. Everything. That's why I like it because it shuts down everything. That, like I said, if you ever lose signal or service with IP Vantage, with that kill switch, it shuts down everything. A lot of people don't tell you about that though. All right. And also, you want to make sure these two. It's just safety precaution. You know, the leak protection. Um, you want to enable both of them. Down here, leave the port the same, and you should be good. If you go over to IP, t IP settings, you can change your IP address every 45 minutes. It's up to you. That's personal preference. So you can check it if you want. Mine is unchecked because I don't need all of that. Um, also, if you want to ver verify IP address, you can go right down here to ipvanish.com, check IP, or you can just go to the website, whatismyipaddress.com, whatismyip.com. Um, all right and then of course you got logs no one's need to see your logs that's between you and you only. okay but now let me show you once i'm done i go to a server list right i go to the server list and what i do this is what i do you can do this if you can do the quick connect if you want but no i want specific you know specific um usually i go to the cities that I'm closer to. I'm closer to Chicago and Cleveland. All right, so I go to the United States, right? I could have just picked it up here, but I sort it down. And you see Cleveland, Chicago has 56, and Cleveland only has three. So I'm going to just do 56. I'm going to go with Chicago. I'm going to go over here and click this 56. As you see, you got a ping of 17, and then you got 46. Then look at this one, 19 and 70. You want to go with the highest load. All right, that's what you want to aim for. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this one right here, Chicago A02. Click on that, and sometimes it take a little time for it to kick in. It's trying to connect to that server out there, and there it is. It says you are now connected uh, to Chicago. As you see, it's on. You see, it says kill switch enabled right there. All right. And now let me go and do a speed test. All right, let me refresh this. Move this down here. I just want to refresh it because I don't want anything. I just want to do a speed test. So let me do that. There we go. We got a whole new refresh. You see it says Chicago, Illinois, uh, IP address, and then, uh, I'm trying to wait for it to finish loading up here. Come on. There's supposed to be some more uh, pop-ups over here. Seems like it's taking a little bit of time. Come on. All right, so we got it to pop up right there. And see how they starting to pop in now? All right, this last one right here. All right, so what we want to do, click go. And it should bring the numbers out. It should give you the ping first. But you see how much I'm losing? Remember, I was at 100. And now I'm down to like 50, 51, 52. And now we're going to do the upload. So sometimes you can go in there and manipulate. You can click on a different link or a different server, as I should say. And, you know, you can go from there. I mean, 50 on the, the download is not bad. You know, it's not bad. And you see it's only giving me three on the upload. Remember, I had like close to 11. So let's try it again. Let me just do that again. So I just wanted you to see how much bandwidth you you use, you lose when you do um, a VPN service, all right. I don't know if all of them, you know, make you lose that much, but I do definitely know this one does. All right. 
So now it's saying 105. So it's going to get right around to the same thing. Just let me know it's, you're going to get like 50 on the download. So, But that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, that's how you set it up. All right. That's how you set up. Of course, it's going to give me the upload. Yeah, roughly around what three? Yep, three one three. That's that Detroit area code. So when you go up here, um, you good. So remember when you stop this. So when say if you want to close it out, you want to disconnect. You can disconnect here, or you can disconnect at the bottom. Either one. Make sure you go into your settings. Go to your connection. Make sure you uncheck kill switch. If you don't uncheck kill switch, you will get stuff like this. All right. So make sure you um, uncheck it. That way, when you go to ESPN now. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let me go back in. All right. Make sure we are. Totally disconnected. Let me see something. Uh, all right. So if we go back to ESPN, let me just make sure. There we go. So you got to close it out and everything. That kill switch is a is a bad it's a it's a security blanket. That way, if anything happens, you are protected. All right, guys. I hope you liked this video. I know it was a little bit long, but I definitely wanted to touch on certain key aspects of um, um, IP vanish. Um, if you like this video, definitely thumbs up it, share it, y'all, share it, share it, share it, and um. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Salute to everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.